Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Sorry for the bumpy roads, but as you can see, the roads are pretty much nothing but ice. And uh, there's bumps all over them. So I thought that I'd show you all what it looks like this time of the winter, this being a winter that we had a pretty nasty snowstorm with warm weathers. And this is what happens to the roads. They get completely covered in ice and we're pr pretty much going to live with this ice for the rest of this winter. And it's a good thing that I have studded tires. But ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd bring you along today so that you can come with me so that I can fulfill a promise that I made to my wife when I had 5,000 subscribers. So for those of you that don't know, once I had 5,000 community members in the Alaska Prepper channel, I was very excited about it. And I told my wife, look, I got 5,000 subscribers. And she said, well, can I have a motorcycle when you get 100,000 subscribers? <laughs> and at that time, I was like, there's no way that I will ever have 100,000 subscribers. So I said, sure, wh whatever you want. <laughs> well, here a couple months back, we reached 100,000. And uh, I told my wife, start looking for your motorcycle because we hit 100,000 subscribers and she has found one and we are headed over there now. I'm going to stop off at the bank to get a cashier's check and hopefully the owner of the place where we're going to will allow us to do a little bit of filming inside so you can see all of the cool machines that they have in there. All right, so uh, hang tight. The road's a little bumpy, but we'll get there here in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to tell you that today is the first week of the month. And remember, consistency is what matters. So we have to come and get a little bit of silver, but not too much because I'm on my way to pay for my wife's motorcycle. <laughs> and there's Dick. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to Dick and Jerry. How are you all doing? We're got, doing inventory. You, <laughs> you're doing your end year inventory, huh? Yeah. Well, um, uh, what do we have silver at today, Jerry? Silver is up a little bit today. It is Jerry always tells me that. Every time I come in here, he says, it's up a little today. Oh, it was down yesterday. <laughs> it's my, you know that tomorrow, it's going to crash. Because uh, I'm going to buy some today. <laughs> so tomorrow, it'll crash a dollar or two. I'm going to plan my life around that, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's at twenty six ninety today. The the price out the, the door. Out the door, yeah. Well, that's a heck of a deal, ladies and gentlemen. Twenty six ninety. Okay. For okay. An... <laughs> I'm glad that I'm not dealing with Dick today. <laughs> Let's go back to Jerry. Twenty six ninety sounds good, ladies and gentlemen. I knew I was going to get in trouble when I came in here. You have look at this. Isn't that awesome? And look at this one. This is a one ounce piece. And Jerry, did you say that these are Australian? Yeah, they're from Australia. They were done to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. That is so cool. Look at, that's the front, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you the back. Well, the back is just, yeah. It's every Commonwealth country has the queen. Yeah, uh, isn't that beautiful? Well, you know what? The heck with the premium. It's got a very nice premium on it, but, yeah, pull that up. and when I say nice, I mean big premium. That's a one ounce coin. Look at this. This is a two ounce coin, Jerry? That's a two ounce. Yeah, look at the thickness of it. it can show up on the edge. And look at the thickness of it. Look at this. That is pretty. That is a work of art, really. Well, we're going to go ahead and get those two, and then uh, I'm going to get some uh a few ounces but not the ounces that uh <laughs> dick just showed me Dick just showed me a whole bunch of uh listen la ladies and gentlemen dick was trying to trying to sell me these obviously bad good and uh he was trying to sell me this one here for you know for 50 dollars because it looks like it's a proof the only problem is is that you know let me see something yep first of all if you take a look at this when you flip it around, the eagle should be upside down, and it's not. See that? Let me show you a real one. This is a real one. If you flip it around, the eagle should be upside down. See that? That's one way that you can tell. 
that that one is not real. Plus, I mean, just holding it, I can tell right away that this one's good. You hear that? Yeah. You hear that? Let's hear this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a difference, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be buying this one right here. Now these are counterfeits, and they're very illegal because it still says $1. Oh, yep. Them. If it says $1, that means it's a counterfeit. And... That yep. most likely is coming out of China. And ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that don't know, that's the difference between a coin and a round. A coin, and correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen, a coin is silver bullion that was minted by a government. It's actually legal tender. Legal tender, okay. And it has a value on it. This is a dollar. It's legal right. tender for a dollar. Whereas everything else is technically a metal. So all the bullion products we sell from, say, Sunshine, mm -hmm. Silvertown, or any like of the Like generic. Things, this, we uh, usually call generic it generic, would right? be a metal. Okay. Although anything round, people tend to always want to call it. We a call coin. it rounds. Yeah. We call it a coin yeah. or yeah. something. But yeah, these, these, are, these are coins. And the Canadian Maple Leaf is technically a coin, too, because it mm -hmm. has a $5 legal tender status. But you'd be foolish to use them for their legal tender status. Right, right. Well, we are here, ladies and gentlemen, and this shop is called the Alaska Fun Center. And uh, let's go in here and see if they let us uh, record. But this is a pretty cool place. They have some pretty nice little machines here and pretty pricey as well. Let me show you. I think these ones out here are used, but you can see these are four by fours. And I mean, they come pretty much fully loaded. They come with a really nice winch. They come with uh, hand guards there, nice colors. And uh, let's go inside and see if they'll let us record. And ladies and gentlemen, guess what? They're allowing us to record in here. But look at these. I have to back up. This thing is huge. And I was actually looking at one of these, but I just don't know. I don't think that I can get myself to pay so much for one of these I would rather just get a an old used one you know get an old used one that if I bang up I'm not that worried about it but these things are incredible I mean there's almost the size of a small car and look at this guy right here this guy is a beast that is a beautiful machine isn't it let's take a look I don't see a price tag on this one but look at this thing. This is one heavy duty machine, 800. I think this blue one that we saw here is a 600. So 600, $8,500. I could only imagine how much this 800 is. And uh, let's go ahead and show you all what else they've got. They've got little ones for the kiddos. My wife told me to get one of these so I can uh, plow snow with it. What do you think? <laughs> I could see myself on a little guy like this. And the, they're not they're not cheap either. Look at that, but they are pretty cool. And we are headed back there. My wife's motorcycle is still there. I just thought I'd show you everything they have on their way, on the way back there. But these are really cool. These machines, I think these ones are made for like speed. Look at that. If I ever got something, it would be one of the ones I showed you back there. That's more of a utility type machine. But me not being a motorcycle guy these guys are really cool look at these you could definitely take these off-roading I, I think i'd probably just end up hurting myself if i got on one of these plus ladies and gentlemen my wife is the opposite of me she is the socialite that likes to do everything i am the boring guy that would rather stay home and uh, edit youtube channels but this is a really cool bike look at this Excuse me, look at this guy this guy is Look at this. Only $8,900. That's really not a bad price for this. I think this is a, what is a Kawasaki brand, I believe? Yes, Kawasaki. Kawasaki. And look at that. That is a nice motorcycle. If I ever learn how to ride a motorcycle and get the confidence to actually, you know, get on one and get licensed, this here is something that I would probably consider very nice very very nice 
I really like the uh, gray and black two-tone as well. It's almost like a camouflage if you want to look at it that way. And it's a 650, which isn't really that big from my understanding. And here's here's some of the side-by-sides that they have. Now this is like buying a car. Look at that thing, it's huge. This will hold four people and it also has a little bit of storage room in the back. But it's it's huge. Look at this. Uh, it's an 850 and it's $20,000. That definitely is not in my budget. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this ladies and gentlemen. This thing is awesome. This thing costs $27,599. And the owner, we were talking to her, and she said that uh, we actually put a deposit down on my wife's motorcycle before the end of the year. So we got the before the end of the year price. And she said that after the 1st of January, everything's going up by 7%. So I'm really glad that we got down here before the end of the year. Look at that, isn't that pretty? This looks like a used motorcycle right here. I'm not sure if it is or not. And these are, I do believe that these are used. These here are used, I believe. Don't quote me though. But these are really nice as well. I think this is a really nice one right here. And look at this, I really like the black on black. Isn't that pretty? And I do believe that this here is the owner's motorcycle. And let me show you the one that my wife got. It's right there. It's that one there that says Vulcan S. And isn't that just a beautiful machine? I mean, if you're into motorcycles, I'm not really into motorcycles and I think it's a beautiful machine, but I do believe that this is a 600, which is very nice. I mean, look at this. And uh, this machine fits my wife perfectly. And it's, it's on hold, ladies and gentlemen. It's on hold. Look at that. Now, the one that I would have gotten had I been looking for a motorcycle, would have been this one. They're both pretty much the same, except that one over there, the one that my wife got, is upgraded from this one. It's an upgrade to this one, so it's a little more expensive than this one right here. But look at this. I think this motorcycle is beautiful. Plus, it's got the green highlights, and green is my favorite color. Take a look at this. I think it looks great. If you're ever in Fairbanks, or if you live in Fairbanks and you don't know about this place, the Alaska Fun Center, this is what they've got. I mean, they also have a lot of accessories. You know, they have accessories for like helmets, you know, leather, things like that. They also have another little room in here. Look at that motorcycle. Isn't that pretty? Look at that thing right there. That's a nice bike. And this is a nice motorcycle as well. And they also have snow machines. I did notice a snow machine outside. Now look at this BMW. That's actually a really nice bike. BMW, a, two, a 2012 for $5,500. That's not a bad deal for a BMW motorcycle. Looks like it's in very nice condition also. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, if, if you're ever... In Fairbanks, and you want to come check these things out, Alaska Fun Center, and if you live in or about this area, come and check it out if you're looking for something like this because the customer service here, very, very nice. They do in-house servicing, so if you ever have a problem with your vehicle, whatever vehicle you end up buying or ATV, you can bring it in here and they will fix it in here. I hope you had a little bit of fun on this little tour here. We're gonna go ahead and head on out of here. They've already got a check. Now all I have to do is go insure this thing because they're gonna be nice enough to hold this for us until after the snow melts. All right, so having said that, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. 
If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out. God bless.